So today is going to be a full day of trading. So just to put this out there, I'm going to be switching in between GBPUSD, EURUSD and the DXY at all times. But what I have done, so you guys know what chart I'm actually referring to, is I've put the chart at the bottom middle of the screen every single time I switch. Also, because it's a full day of trading, in the morning I'm going to be a little bit slow, but then I eventually catch up. You're going to see the highs, you're going to see the lows. Just make sure you take as much notes as possible and enjoy. All right, family, we're going in for a quick move on Monday. This is today's Monday. Going for a quick move. We're just targeting these lows right here. So let's go ahead and mark it up. So we're targeting these lows. This one should get taken too. Let's just zoom all the way out. Uh, let's just target these lows right here. These lows right there. Um, so this is going to be my target. You guys can see my entry currently for GBP USD. What do you have going on on the one minute time frame? So we have this move above this high. So this is part of the reason I'm trusting this move. So we run above this high, as you guys can see, wicks above this high. We've taken out this low and we've also taken out that one. So let's go ahead and mark up the two lows. So this low right here, let's put this magnet tool on. This magnet tool right here, boom. So that's a low we've taken out. This is a high we've taken out. This is put um, highs taken. So now what I'm expecting is I want to see if price can just drop down to my area of interest, which is down here. This is my up close candle here. So I'm expecting price to hold up here. I don't want to see it get past here. This is, this is our setup. We've got our imbalance here, which is cool. We've been tagged in already, so that's blessed. I want to see this imbalance hold. So you can see this imbalance right here. This is the inefficiency. I want to see a hold. And I'm looking to target these lows down here. So let's go to the five minute time frame to make it a little bit easier. I'm not looking to target much actually. I'm looking to target this low right here. Where's my TP sign? Okay, we're going right here. All right, guys. And this is where we're looking to target. We're looking to target right in here. Reason being, let's go 15 minute time frame. Let's just go ahead and zoom out. We have a down close candle here. I'm targeting something above that down close candle. You can see these sell candles that come into this. I'm going to the very highest point of where it began to drop. This is what I'm looking to target. All right, guys, so those two trades were an absolute flop. I was in way too early. My trades got snuffed out, but I didn't let that get to me. I decided to give it some time and wait for a new opportunity to present itself. All right, folks, we are about to get active right now with the sell on EURUSD. I did take a sell earlier on during here and I got stopped out, but now this is gonna be my second attempt at this trade today. What we're gonna do as well, we're gonna target just into this area of inefficiency so you can see it right here. Let's go ahead and mark it up from this kind of six week low to that one's high. We just need price to get into this level here and then we're gonna be out the trade. And you can see here, price has made an expansion higher, as you guys can see. Now we're looking at that retracement, especially now because we've got that movement beneath this low. So if I go to that five minute time frame, you're gonna see that five minute time frame up close candle pretty clear. We then made a move to the downside and now I'm looking to catch my entry. This is what I'm looking at here. We don't need to be greedy and go for way too much. It's Monday, so get yours and get out. We've been tagged in, let's go. I basically just used the, the imbalance and the up close candle for my entry. You can see where I put my stop loss, we got tagged in. So yeah, there was no stress, there's no drama. If it didn't tag me in, it didn't tag me in. And for those wondering how many pips this is, this is a potential 20, just under 20 pips, about 19 pips, 20 pips. Just so you guys know, I did try to jump in a GU as well. I believe I was gonna be targeting these lows, but price never came up to tag me in. So when price produced this order block, I wanted to see whether we can just get a little dip above it and then, you know, take it lower. It didn't do it. So that was a flop. Just from the very, from here, to get down to these lows, that would have been another 20 pips. This one would have been a bit more juicier than the Euro was D trade. So from here, roughly about 2.9 to three pip stop loss to get down to this low. We're talking about a 1 to 7.7 hour trade. It is what it is. We don't catch them all. So we don't catch them all. Whichever one bangs, bangs. That's it. It's as simple as that. Whichever one gets tagged in, I'm going to go ahead and do that one. If both of them get tagged in, I'm still Gucci with that too. But Yuri was D. Let's look at how it's going. Let's go 15 minute time frame. So you can see these highs here. I believe this is last week's highs. Last week's highs. Thursday's highs. Thursday's highs got taken out here. So Thursday's highs got taken out here. And then what did the price do after price took out those highs? It dropped beneath this candlestick here. Remember the up close candle we saw in the five minute time frame. And so for me, I would want to see price come back into the range, which is what it's doing now before taking off again. And it can come back down to the down close candle. I'm going to play it safe and take it to this imbalance, trade it well, keep it moving. It is Monday after all. And it can still get beneath this low. It can still do it. But the reason I'm not looking to hold a full position or even taking it beneath this low is because this drop in Asia actually hit our point of interest for entries. Obviously it was Asia, so we couldn't get in on that. But four hour time frame, you can see here, after making an expansion, oh, let's just get rid of these lines for now. Okay, after making an expansion above this high, 
I wanted to see price retrace down into where into this four hour imbalance and this is my first POI I'm not saying it's going to stop here it can drop even lower but this is my four hour imbalance I wanted to see price respond off so after trading into the imbalance or through it I would want to see it close within it or above it it can still get down here do a madness and still close above this imbalance and you know that would be cool but for now look I'm playing it safe trading it well taking it down to this level and then I'm done with the trade and I thought I would share this with you too this is on a DXY and why I was saying that EURUSD could still potentially push a little bit lower so the reason I was saying that is because of this so the DXY you can see has been an expansion lower it's retraced back up into a premium and then it's dropped again beneath this low. So practically price was at a discount. I would want to see price retrace ideally into equilibrium or into a premium price before going short. So that's why it wouldn't shock me if EURUSD was to push lower just a little bit more. So even though EURUSD has dropped into my four hour zone, I just wouldn't want to see price close beneath that zone. And that could change the way I'm thinking. But right now, this is why for EURUSD, so you guys can just about see what's going on here. We made an expansion higher, retraced, and then another expansion higher. And so with this, if I was just to show you the very lowest point to the highest points in this, here's my lowest point, here's my highest point. You can see we didn't even get to equilibrium. So price could still get down here. Do you have, do you have madness with the wicks, but then close within or above this imbalance? That would be blessed and, you know, that would warrant for more buys on your USD. All right, guys, so I have gone in for a scalp on GPUSD. So my original entry was missed. It was up here. So within this imbalance over here. So let's quickly go ahead and show you guys this imbalance. This kind of sits wick in that one. There was inefficiency there. This was my original entry. It was missed. Price never came back up into it to tag it in. But I have gone in for a scalp. First of all, I'm looking at the DXY. DXY needs to get up into this imbalance. I'm gonna hold my GU cell until when the DXY gets up into this imbalance. This is not where I wanted the trade to end, but this is where I wanted to take partials off of this trade. So now we're gonna go ahead and move that. So this is my entry here. This is my stop loss here, it was similar. 2.99 pip stop loss. And I'm gonna hold it until the DXY gets down to that level. And let's go to the one hour time frame. So there's a, let's go to the 15 minute time frame. So I do see an imbalance here in the 15 minute time frame, and that could be of some area of interest. Maybe the G you might get down to here by the time the DXY gets to its imbalance. So don't forget, this is now turned into a scalp into this level, a little one to four scalp. Let's just pull it right into that imbalance over there. Boom. So this is the scalp. It's a little one to four scalp, but look, this one was missed. Is what it is. Never about to high, never about to have close candle, but we're going in for that scalp. This area of inefficiency, price traded into that. It filled in at least just over half of it and then we started dropping again so this is what i've based my entry on and i put my stop loss above this kind of six week high because i don't believe it's going to get back above here if i go to the two minute time frame you can see this imbalance nice and clear this is my two minute imbalance it taps into that and then it's dropping now so either way everything's looking good i'm aiming for this level down here on the 15 minute time frame but we're going to be keeping in mind the dxy and you can see for the DXY, look, we've taken out these lows, these relative equal lows, relative equal lows. We then trade it back above this high here, and now we're pushing up higher. All right, guys, so we're back on that DXY now. We're looking at the DXY, comparing it to the EURUSD. Like I said, I wanted to see price get up into this imbalance here. We are very close. I just got an alert literally just a moment ago, literally just passed it just now. It alerted me, so I'm back on these charts at the moment. And you can see that we're looking at the DXY getting up into this level here. And for this, we're looking at EURUSD getting down into its 50 minute imbalance and we're also looking at gbp usd getting down into its 15 minute imbalance too so that's what we're looking at g use the scalp usd is more so the it's, it's like a scalp really it's still just like a longer scalp still we, we don't have to be greedy you don't have to go for too much usd you can see look at that we've pushed down lower everything's looking crisp everything's looking good and so there's a little bit more to go and then we're done with the trade and then we, for GBP USD, you can see that for our little scalp, the one that we call our scalp, it's pushed down deeper a little bit more. It's come probably about 59, probably about two pips from taking TP. A little small scalp after missing our initial entry up here. Okay, guys, so I'm in that 50 minute time frame still looking at Euro USD. You can see price has pushed up higher. We're not phased. I'm not phased by this. I still want to see price dig deeper into this area of inefficiency. So when I drop down to, let's just say the one minute time frame, you can see the one minute time frame still making lower lows and lower highs. So there's nothing to be worried about. Back to the 15, if we go to GPUSD now, or let's go to the five minute time frame, you can see, look, for my entry, price has come back up one more time. Before we've gotten to our area of interest, this imbalance here on the 15. So before we've gotten to any POIs, price has come back to our entry. 
And so we're still in this trade. You can see stop losses have not been moved. And so we're still in this trade at the moment. And we're looking to get price down into this level here. Guys, we've just hit TP. Everything's blessed, everything's cool. We've just gone ahead and done that. We'll take that screenshot real quick. There we go. So let's go ahead and close this off. 764, let's go ahead and close it out. All right, guys, we've taken a partial close. I did do it a little bit later here on Trading View. It is what it is. That's all good now. We missed the very first one on GPUSD. We caught our second position, so that was blessed. That's cool. It did come back to entry, as you guys saw. Didn't move your stop loss. And look how quickly we, after that, we just dropped off the face of this earth. So now I've got our partial going. I'm going to go down to that one minute time frame. And like I said, this was a little scalp. Price could turn around. We're going to check the dicks why in a second, but I'm going to move my stop loss just to better than break even at this point so you can't lose any money and let's go ahead and check euro usd euro usd is still getting to his level so we're still holding it on that euro usd trade and then we're going to check the dxy to see where the dxy is at we're making another move for that 15 minute i'm holding on to my euro usd trade this is a order block a bearish order block right now so we're looking to get that push to the downside and the dxy so i'm switching between all three charts at the moment so this is just how i would normally trade on a, a day when i'm in both gu and eu dxy is basically what i'm looking at GU is down into R15. Like I said, whichever one comes first, this one or the imbalance, this is the one that came first. But I'm holding a little runner on just to see how deep we can go with GPUSD. EURUSD, here we go. This is our bearish order block. That's good because it means price will want to continue to drop and we're looking to take it into this level here. Hopefully, I'll be ready this time. So when it's actually within that imbalance, we can actually close it off at the right time. Now it's just a waiting game. We should be getting to this level real soon. The DXY is behaving just how we like it. It's produced some relative equal highs. You guys know what this means. There's going to be lots of retail looking to go in on a sell from thereabouts here. They might get a rejection sign somewhere around here. So there's going to be lots of retail trying to get in on a sell here. The stop losses are going to be up in this range here. And this is where our TP is. So we should be looking to TP very soon. So when price makes this next move higher to run out this liquidity that they've just generated here, and then we should be getting taken out of our trade. I've got an alarm here because I am editing a video and so I might miss it. I might miss it when it actually gets up into here. So this is why I put the alarm here so I don't miss it. All right, guys, I've moved my stop loss for GU a bit deeper into profit. This one's all blessed. This one's all good. EURUSD is taking its time to get down there, but nonetheless, it's still moving accordingly. It's not taking out any highs. This could be another low high before we get to our point of interest. And just to show you the DXY, look, the relative equal highs up here. What I've done, I'm, I probably showed you a different chart, but it's the same thing. Relative equal highs below our point of interest. Relative equal highs below our point of interest. Let's go to the five and let's just go, go ahead and put that on here. This is just an alert. This is nothing fancy. Just to let me know that price is passing this level so I can hop back on here, hit record again and take TP and all of that good stuff. But still patiently waiting. We probably in the next hour, we should be able to get up here. Guys, you can see where I've moved my stop loss to above this kind of six week high. So that's now pin perfect. That's all blessed. And guys, it looks like we're going to be targeting these lows right here. The Dix White is still not at that 50 minute imbalance. So I'm still holding 20% of the position holding it down to these lows here. All right, family, so our alarm has just gone off. Let's go five minute time frame. Our alarm has just gone off. You can see these relative equal highs. We're trading above that now. We're gonna be running out that liquidity above this high. We're tapping into that imbalance now. Let's go ahead and see where Euro USD is at. Euro USD is running out this low here. Um, it's not at its imbalance yet. DXY is still pushing up into its imbalance, as you guys can see. Euro USD has not gone into its imbalance yet, so it's roughly about Four pips away, the DXY, as you guys can see, has filled it in fully. We're going to take partials right now. Uh, 50, 730. There we go. We're about to get in there any moment now. Partial close, move stops to break even. We're like a pip away. One pip away, we going. It's all good. We are going. I'm going to move our stop loss right here. We're good to go. And then just to show you how far G has gotten to, we're going to go ahead and close off this trade right here. Since we've run out this liquidity, let's go ahead and close us another uh, roughly around half of that. There we go. But we ain't got time to do all the maths. And then we're just going to keep it like this now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my stop loss beneath this kind of six wick high. There we go. And if it takes me out, we're out. Don't forget, this was a scalp. You know, we took off 8%, took off another 10%. And we got 10% running. All right, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my executions on EURUSD first and then GBPUSD settings. There we go, settings, executions. Oh, that's not the one. Executions right here. There we go. So you can see here, this is where I took my first sell and that was a flop, as you guys saw. It then went to go and run the previous day's high, Friday's high, which is this one over here. 
Friday's high. I took my second sell in here. So let's go to the five minute time frame. I took my second sell in here and price traded up into that imbalance that I was looking at. Let's go to, down to one minute time frame now. You can see I took off part of the trade here when it got close to it. And then the rest of it got taken off down here within it. So that's where it actually hit TP down in here. So that is the trade down for EURUSD. And now for GU, this is how we went down for GU. First of all, I took my first sell from up here. Once again, I was a little bit early with the trade, got taken out up here. Um, I didn't catch my second entry that I wanted, which is basically within this inner balance here. Didn't come to a fruition. I caught a scalp move from here to this level, took off 80% and then let the rest of that trade ride. Took off a further 10% at these lows and then I moved my stop loss into profit and this is still going. Now I'm on a one minute time frame and I'm going to move my stop loss. I'm literally just going to be trailing it above this low here. The main move is already done. The main agenda is already complete. The scalp and I'm letting just 10% ride. That's it. I'm not looking to jump in with any new trades. I'm just going to keep on moving it. If it chases and makes a new low, I'm going to move it to that, to that level there. And at the same time, I don't have to. I can go ahead and just leave this now, move it to a place where I'm comfortable with and keep it there. So what I've done now is I've set a TP for GBP USD 10 pips beneath this low here. So roughly about 10 pips beneath that low, which comes in at 1.25244. That's going to be the, the end of this trade. Oh, it looks like we're getting close. It's just literally dancing around on the line. And we should be getting there any moment now. We should be getting down to that level. There we go. And we should be out of the trade. Let's go.